Wow. Heard about your new book, Based in Cincinnati, about nine boys deciding to play basketball as girls in the girls' league. The title, Transgender Hoops, Identify as a Female. Humorous story that's a thought provoker. Sold out multiple times on Amazon. Of course, the man of the hour right here in the all-white Zion Williamson. I mean, come on, dog. I mean, you just out here. You, you, this is more than a subtle drip. Go ahead and break down the whole process of this selection of this particular outfit. Well, my game is, my game pops, but it's also smooth at the same time. So, pursued by Adrian uh, Savage, and he said the cream white will look good against my skin, and I will still be able to pop. So, I trusted it, and right now, I feel good. Hey, feel good, look good. That's how. My name is Zion Williamson. So what made you decide on this outfit today? You know, I wanted to go with the blue color today because it's kind of royal and the red had the little pop, so that's what I wanted to do. All right. Choice on sneakers. Why'd you select those? Man, I had to go with the black because it matches with everything. It's very comfortable, and I knew I was going to be walking around a lot. And what age did you decide to stop growing hair? Oh, uh, man, that was a, uh, a decision <laughs> that, that wasn't uh, made by me. That was, uh, I'm just spotically challenging. We'll leave it at that. Not everybody's blessed to have the crop top on the, the man, come on, man. Well, that leads us to my next question, answers a little bit of it. Why? Why now? Why did you write this book? Oh, uh, good question. Um, I started, uh, actually started to see the different stories on TV and, and the young lady that's right behind you on the wall uh, <laughs> was Selena. one of those that sparked. Yeah, Selena. And that's my, my littlest name is also Selena with a C instead of an S. But I saw the story that uh, what happened to her um, and, and just being a coach and a trainer and, and just being around girls my whole life, I was crushed. I mean, it really hurt me to my core um, because I know I've seen things happen to kids that that are out of their control. And that's what this was. Uh, you know, she got something taken away from her. She'd worked for her whole life and it really hurt. Um, and that really sparked me to get thinking about this whole subject. And then I ended up discovering your site. And then it kind of sent me on this avenue of uh, seeing all of these males that were competing against females. And it was like, this isn't OK. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm a nice person, but uh, this just doesn't work. And, and that's kind of the thing that geared me towards making this, uh, writing this story. It's what sparked me, I guess you'd say. Yeah, it's really unfair what these young girls have had to go through. And yeah. for those that aren't aware, that is Selena Sewell there. She is the first athlete to really step up in the United States. And she's a high school athlete who in Connecticut has had to race against transgender boys in track and field and has lost out many opportunities because of that. Um, she's lucky to be joined now by a few other athletes in a complaint, a Title IX complaint against the Department of Education. So luckily the Alliance Defending Freedom is helping them with that. Um, and thankfully we have people like you helping us raise awareness of it.